Oh my god. Hi. Um. So this came out yesterday, and holy shit, am I not okay? Little backstory, little context. Um, I've been leaving, check please, since June of 2016. It's April of 2020, so it's almost four years. I <laughs> legitimately like a month and a half till it's four years since I started reading this book, this comic. And this book came out yesterday, and I read the last, at the time, four comics. One, last four-ish comics um that had come out I have like spoken only briefly on this channel about my love for check please um but I want more to talk about my love for the author Miss Mikozi she does this incredible thing at the beginning of the year of the year of the comic paralleling it to the last thing so for year one um spoilers by the way for year one she begins it with him meeting the team biddy meeting his team for the first time and one of the most iconic phrases from check please is eat more protein <laughs> sorry she parallels year one's end with a reference back to year one's begin Eat more protein. Year two starts <laughs> with in the book a song that isn't Halo by Beyonce. Um, it's Halo. It's sh I don't remember what jokingly like in the comic it's Halo by Beyonce. Um, Paralleling it with some it's a, like a very funny event and um, the end of the year. Spoiler, spoiler, spoilers. Ends with kissing someone to Halo by Beyonce. Said so, no, I can't listen to Halo by Beyonce without crying now. Year three, um, which is the first year in this one, starts off with him kissing a figurine of the person he kissed in year two. And spoiler, spoiler, spoilers. For the rest of this is kind of spoilery. Um, he kisses said person on the ice after a very big win. Check and my major spoilers to the beginning and the end of the year. I can't even talk about that because half of those spoilers, like half of the parallels I want to talk about, I can't because it's not out to everyone. It's out to the people who own the book, and that's about it. So I will explain briefly a little bit more about this. Um, but I think my favorite part is looking at. I've been looking at it for the past 20 something hours, just the last few comics. I'm looking at the parallels back to year one, even. Um, like, this is a major spoiler, so I'm not gonna tell you what happens. But, um, Biddy, the main character, faints on the ice doing something. And, like, he hasn't fainted on the ice since his freshman year, his sophomore year. Um, and it's a callback to his freshman year. It's also a callback to the beginning of the year where he, year, where he's talking to his, maybe he's talking to his mom on the phone, but it's really a flashback to when he's a kid. She, um, by the way, the very big thing about Biddy is he does not like checking. He hates checking. He never wants to be checked. He freezes up when he gets checked. And a very big part of Biddy's growth is him going from being terrified of checking in year one to getting a check in year two, um, getting getting a check in year three and year four, and getting back up. Um, I can't remember which year it is, but he checks, he gets a check. Let me see if I can find it. Um...
he gets a check um, while playing. I think in year three. I can't find it right now. I'm just skimming. And it's like he gets a check. I think he's knocked down and he gets back up. And reading that comic for the first time, I cannot tell you the happiness I felt in my in my like chest because of it. And now in year four, this has come out. I could talk about it, but it's still spoilers if you never read the comic. He got checked in the last comic we got before the book came out. <laughs> Holy shit, he got checked bad. I'll show you the check. Um, this black page, which is the only full page thing, it says, and Biddle is slow to recover. And the ice, and everyone on the ice, is in shock. Everyone in general is shocked. And then 22, which is the next, which is the next update she released yesterday of me recording this, um, is called Check. And it's him explaining his fear of checking, but also him, massive spoiler, checking the other player boom like this is that's how you know show growth is in a character is having them come back from their biggest thing is crazy having them do it is also crazy like legitimately year one biddy walked so year four biddy could run <laughs> sorry i'm getting to that point um but jesus christ i love this book um, she closed off the series in a really good way as well. Like, everyone has expectations for how it's going to end. I have my expectation for how it's going to end. And, like, how she wrapped up the series is perfectly beautiful. Like, all four years, they're trying to get to one goal for the hockey team. And year one, they get not that close. They get close, but not, like, to where they get to in year two, where they get to the final four, and I think they lose. Do you remember it? If I'm remembering correctly, I think they lose in the final game of the season. Yeah, they lose in the final game of the season, which is killer on Jack and all the seniors. Year three is, um, and then, like, year three, they go through this whole, like, they lose, not too close to the end, which is killer on the, which is probably really killer on the seniors that we've had three years with, but in year four, they win. Spoilers. And this entire video is just spoilers. I can't make my honest review. Like, I can't make a review of it without spoilers. Um. My god. I. The series ended perfectly for me. And it left it, like, semi open ended as well. Like, so if she truly wants to come back and, like, write a four year later or a five year later thing she could like the characters are in when we end this book are in good places like Biddy's off to do what he wants to do so is all of the other characters but like not in bad ways like like I truly think year three uh year four really sets up that Everyone is okay. Everyone is gonna be okay. And as a graduating senior, I needed to hear that. And everyone we know in this comic is gonna be okay. Jack, Biddy, Shitty, Lardo, Ransom, Hollister, Dex, Nursery, Chowder, Whiskey, Tater, everyone is gonna be okay. And she does it really well, where 
in the end it's open like it closes the series in like a way of like it's wrapped up with a neat little bow but in like if she wants to come back to it six years from now and write a 10 year post the comic series like one off series she can because it's it's open for her to do um I can't contain myself to the time I have left on my phone so um yeah don't forget to like comment subscribe all that good stuff I definitely will be probably reviewing this later though so keep if you want to really know because I will actually like write down my review and make a video on it properly but yeah for now this is it Bye guys.